Uh, come on with the come on. Good yeah. afternoon, y'all. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Hey, let me know uh, what we look like and what we sound like. This, as you can see, completely new setup. We're out there today uh, doing this on the phones today. So I might be a little slow on the comments, Auntie Ann. I might be a little slow. It feels great out oh. here. I know that, though. It was real cold, and then it got nice and warm. Yeah, it's feeling nice out here right now. Doing this on the phone. All right. Uh, let's see here. Hello, everybody. I think I got it. Da -da 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 -da. Into the mist. What's going on, girl? Michael White, how's it going? The kitchen area looks amazing. Does it sound amazing? <laughs> yeah. Not echoing too bad. Yeah, let me know what we sound like. We're a little ways away from the phone. The rider was hanging out with me, but uh, when I leaned up to hit the live button, he rode out. It's like he was hanging out for like 10 minutes waiting on the live, and as soon as we turned it on, he left. Uh, I see Dog Catcher in here. Mary Ranch, how are you doing? Treasure Hunter, uh, Tamara and David. Uh, Lori Kenton is the new member. I think I got oh, that right. Congrats Kenton. Yes. Congratulations. Keaton. Keaton. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely different sitting outside. I'm used to being inside in the live. It's a man. It kind of distracting out here sitting out. I just want to look off into the distance and look at the mountains and stuff. Uh, let's see here. What is that skeleton? May says I like the background. It looks good. Thank you. Thank oh, you. we've been killing it, guys. We have been killing it. We are only one wall away. Man. We put the whole back wall on today. Yeah, we are one wall away from being completely sighted. Um, of course, we still got to do all the soffits and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yep, you know, and the corner pieces and all of that. But, uh, yeah, the siding is almost done. And we've already got pretty much all of it milled and burned. Yep. And, so, we and it would have fast. We, we would have been done today. We just basically ran out of time getting ready for the live. Yeah. If it wasn't for the live, I probably could have finished before dark today. There's going to be a lot of cuts on this last wall, though. The only wall we got left is uh, over there by the generator room. Yeah. Well, uh, Sherry, how's it going? Uh, let's see here. Sounds good and looks good uh, behind you. Oh, thank you. Yep, this right here will be the new uh, fired up kit or fired up Friday area. Whenever it's done, we are sitting in the outdoor kitchen right now. Yeah, it is gonna be insane when it's finished. Uh, let's see here, Brian Shannon Wilkinson, house. what's going on? What's going on, Brian? How are you, Amber? What's going on? Uh, man, this has been a lot of work though. It's a slow process. I mean, from milling the the siding to burning the siding honestly it takes longer to burn it yeah. rider's back you can see his tail yeah it takes forever to burn it when it's fresh off the mill yeah it's still got a little bit of water and stuff in it if you give it a day or two to dry it, it chars pretty fast but steven carlson said mike how far will you travel for another truck uh i mean if the price is right several hours <laughs> far away i mean I don't know. It all depends, I guess. It all depends on, you know, what's going on with it. Yeah, but I uh, I like it, man. It uh, It's got a lot of character. And the upstairs part of the cabin will match this. Yeah. So that'll tie it all in. And plus, the, with the slate color roof will be the same roof that's on the cabin as well. So it all tie in. It's all part of a big master plan. Let me move my phone over Ryder's head's right in my way. Don't worry about it. Just hang out. Say hi to everybody, Ryder. Pearl Russell said, hi, my name's Pearl. I'm from a small town called Dover in the UK. It looks great. Thank you very much. I always like hearing from all my people across the pond. I uh, see my niece in here, SKW Lifts. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Oh, my son's in here. Oh, oh life with good. Levi. Nice. If y'all missed the come on, keeping it real uh, Saturday, um, Levi and his buddies stopped in on their way back from Denver. They went on a ski trip to Denver there, and they stopped by Come On Mountain for a couple of hours, yep. had some breakfast and stuff, and hung out, and then got back on the road. Uh, Oklahoma Grammy, Sandra Madrano, how's it going? 
Uh, I have an exciting garage with painted wood siding. I used to use deck overlay to what? Paint it. Just paint it. To yeah, make to the make the wood last longer. Paint. Okay, paint it. All right, true. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't want to. I didn't want to paint. I wanted something uh, unique. Yeah. I wanted something completely different, and I wanted something that there would be no other one like it. And trust me, there will never be another one like this. Yeah, um, it's like a fingerprint, really. Yeah, it's it's a one off because um, no tr two trees are the same. No no two boards are the same. And uh, yeah, it's different. I, I still got to seal it and polyurethane it. I got some outdoor polyurethane stuff, some clear coat, which will really make this thing pop Yeah. whenever it's all said and done. Uh, B. Patton said, congrats, David. Really nice progress. Is the wall to Mike's right totally solid, uh, sided as well? Yes. 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 That wall sided, that wall sided, the one around the corner sided, the one directly behind us, like behind this wall is cited. The only one that is not cited is the one that's on the far side of the building over there where the uh, generator room is. I have to do the two. It's a lot of cut pieces where the generator room is there because there's a door right in the middle and it's only a 10 foot room. So I got to cut those and then wrap around to the front of the building right there. Um, if it wasn't going to rain tomorrow, yeah, um, it would be done tomorrow. Story of our life. Um, but this is Arkansas and what are you doing? You sitting here cleaning yourself? Um, and I can't seem to get more than three days in a row without rain. Man. It pretty much is dry for day or day to three days, and then we get four days of rain. Yeah. So Karen, kind of messes us up. Karen Bress said a uh, kitchen siding looks awesome. What all do we have to do to finish the inside? Uh insulation. Uh the plumbing is already ran. I just got to do all the connections and stuff because I ran the plumbing under under the slab. Yep. Um, so just do all the connections, uh, insulation, electric, lighting, exhaust fans, stuff like that, plugs, um, just all your typical stuff that you got to do on the inside. And then it's time to mill again Yeah. Um, because I will be doing the inside. Similar to this, uh, it'll be pine. It won't be burnt on the inside. I think I'm going to keep it a natural color. I'm going to plane it where it's got real nice grain. <clears throat> and I might stain it or I might clear coat it. I don't know. I kind of want the lighter color on the inside because there's not a lot of windows in there just to keep it like light and bright. Right. And uh, so honestly, that's going to take the longest time. I mean, with two people knocking out the insulation in here it won't be too bad two yeah. people running the electric it ain't going to be bad there's not a ton of electric in here there, there's not a ton of different components going in yeah. here um so that won't be too bad uh, i still need to do like the drain for the uh the washing machine and dryer that's going to go up in the wall um yep. it's already done underneath the slab of course um all those are things that are go pretty smooth and pretty quick yeah that, all that's pretty fast stuff install a toilet which doesn't take long um, the septic tank could take a little while. That's going to start here soon. Yep. Like I'm going to start digging, digging that here pretty quick, about as quick as I get this outside buttoned up. Um, the septic tank's the next big ticket item um, because I'm only a toilet away from living like a normal human. What? <laughs> I'm only a septic <clears throat> away. So. Uh, Joseph, there's probably zero chance of us grabbing midnight and letting you see midnight right now. Uh, <laughs> midnight comes out when midnight wants to come out or if we get lucky and we stumble upon midnight. here lately midnight's been a little bit more of visual uh, midnight hangs out in the uh, shed in the back back there which is cool because midnight hunts and keeps all the rats and stuff out of there yep. and we'll keep the snakes out of there and all that but uh that's where he, that's where she hangs out and uh really the only time she kind of even tries to be a little social is when it's grocery time. That's right. That That is it. And she still won't like let me around her when she's eating. She'll jump off the table and go off to the distance and sit there and just meow yep. until I leave. And then she'll jump back up there and eat. She's just not a social cat. This right here is my social one right here. Um, every once in a while, she'll walk around the yard with, with Ryder. But uh, she's just not that, that type of cat. Yep. Um, it's fine. I mean, I don't mind. She's happy, healthy. Um, 
living her best life. And really that's all I can ask for animals yeah. here on my mountain is to live their best life, <laughs> you know, and uh, they definitely do that. Pettajean River Homestead. Thank you for uh, on the luck for on the jobs on the job hunt. I do believe, though, that Midnight is going to be on his video or my video. One of the videos, she was just out in the yard the other day, and one of us filmed her. Might um, have been Lissa. Lissa yeah. might have got the shot over. So she might be on one of the videos here soon. Uh, there's going to be tomorrow or the next day on this channel, uh, there will be the sighting video about this area and the front right over there um, where you walk into the solar room. And then uh, the one after that will be milling all the siding for the rest of this building. And then the last one will be us finishing the siding. Um, most of those are already filmed. Yep. Old Tim from Ridge Life's in the house. Old Tim. What's going on, buddy? Y'all killing it. Well, thank you, Lindsay. So are you. Um, what was I watching oh. when you came over yep. this morning? So this morning, actually, when I came over to get ready for work, knocked on the door. Hey, what's going on? And then I'm listening to something I'm like, wait a second. Is that Lindsay into the mist? And he was like, yep, I'm watching it right now, actually. So and then we got stuck for like 10, 15 minutes watching her, her channel. We were like, all right, we got to go outside to get some work done. Yeah. I let your uh, recent video finish and then we got to work. But uh, that's what I was listening to this morning whenever I was drinking my coffee and, and kind of get going for the day. I, I kind of treat it like it's a podcast. I kind of yeah. watch a little, listen a little, watch a little, listen a little. Uh, throw Lindsay's uh, link in the chat, if you would, moderators. Uh, she is getting close. Uh, she's still got some watch time that she's needing and stuff. But uh, if y'all just run that channel, she could get her watch time. That's right. She can get it. She could be monetized. Auntie Ann said, LOL, looks like writers reading comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, don't it? <laughs> You never know where Ryder, he might be. Uh, are you going to vent the generator room enough from Slevin? Slevin? Uh, what now? Are you going to vent the generator room? Yeah, absolutely. You got to vent a generator room. There's actually going to be quite a bit in between the generator room and the actual building. Uh, I plan on doing, like I said, the pine on the inside. There will be rock wool in the walls. And then on the generator room itself, I'm actually going to sheet the whole wall with plywood, seal it really, really good, and then put siding over that as well because I want it as thick and as soundproof as possible. Yeah. And I also don't want none of the fumes coming into the building, and it will be vented out the roof as well. Uh, I think i seen somebody. Brian says, uh, when do we get to see it? Well, if you would subscribe to my Come On Keeping It Real, you actually would have got a uh, sneak peek a sneak peek yep. on Saturday's video where Levi was here. Because when I was coming up the mountain, you could see the whole front of the tiny house. And uh, it's sighted. <laughs> so um, on that channel right there, you get little sneak peeks yep. uh, before the uh, main video comes out. Tim said, hey, I just did the insulation. Uh, no, you did the insulation. Uh, in the main house, retacked up some. We got a whole lot more. What? When are you coming? When? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you were a great insulator, Tim. We need you. Yep. We'll work a staple gun with the best of them. Come on. Uh, Hat Creek, what's going on? Uh, let's see here. Linda Bendel, how's it going? I'm sure I'm way behind. Looks good, guys. Thank you. People saying go Ridge Life. Yeah, at least, Tim said at least the boards behind you aren't duplicated. <laughs> Ain't none of these boards duplicated for sure. Yeah, some of them are out of the same log. Like in the front, when we was doing that, and even some of these, I mean, I only have so much material Yeah. and certain lengths of logs. So when I was cutting down all these trees, I didn't know what measurements I needed. So I was roughly going around 10 foot. You know, some's like 9, 6, some's like 11 foot stuff like that so basically mm -hmm. i'm trying to do as much as i can one piece of siding where there's not so many seams and on the back wall that's 20 foot i have no 20 foot logs so i kind of hit in the middle and then i did similar to what i'm going to do on the corners with a pine tree 
kind of wrapping the corners. I, I flesh cut a pine tree where it's you got the rounded part where it looks like the tree and sealed that seam up with that. And guys, it turned out amazing. It, it pops real hard. It kind of makes it look 3D in a way. Yeah, it gives it a, a very rustic feel. It ties the cabin feel into it. It turned out very nice. Hopefully the corners turn out just as nice. Yeah. The corners are a little bit more complicated. Oh, Lindsay said she's only 500 hours away, guys. Oh, man. Y'all can get her there by morning. Man. If everybody right now went on there and, and just, just watched hit play all. for yeah, man. Hit play it, all when you sleep in the it, night. It would she would be there when everybody woke up. Joseph, yes, Florida does get a lot of rain too. You know, to be honest, I feel like when Lisa and I came up here, we brought the, the weather with us because it was cold and rainy. And then when I got here, it was cold and rainy. So Tim says he thinks the freeze is over. Well, it was twenty three degrees this morning. Yeah. The so, mud the so. mud puddles were frozen when I went outside. <laughs> When I was out there milling today and I got my bucket with water that I fill up my little uh, squirt thing, it was iced. And that was at noon. <laughs> so, uh, Some of the people are saying that the phone is kind of blurry. I think it's the autofocus on because we're outside, so we're using the phone. And I think it might be kind of yeah, it might be zooming that. in and out. Might be that. This Sorry, is a new guys. setup. I can bring my laptop out here next week. Um now that we have daylight savings time, isn't it daylight savings time? Yes. yes. Now we can actually do it outside because it won't be dark at seven o'clock. I was so happy uh, just to see yesterday when it was like seven forty-five ish before it really started getting dark. Uh, let's see here, Hattie boyish. Let's see here, you're buffering and blurry. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably just the phone. Yeah, it's more than likely the phone. Uh, Sandra Madrino, Oklahoma uh, Grammy, said, uh, guys did great on the boards. It looks awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a labor of love, huh? Huh, Ryder? It really all boils down to this one right here. Yep. Um, he's the one that really runs things. Uh, you got your butt in the way of my phone there. You're not allowed to have none of that drink. You ain't allowed to have to get none my of drink. That. Uh, Cottonwood Ranch, hello, how are you? Uh, Love 44 Mag, are you going to put a roof on your outdoor cooking area? Yes. The reason why I have not put the roof on this section yet is because this section won't be insulated and stuff like the inside. So I want to, uh, I want to do all of the headers and stuff and the trusses in this area out of cedar and uh, plant it and polyurethane it make it pop that way when you look up at the roof of the outdoor kitchen it's real nice wood and all that other stuff so that's why i haven't done this section yet as soon as we get all the siding up and start buttoning in the corners and doing all of the you know soffits and all that stuff um drip edge and all of that that's when i'll end up doing the roof yeah and i also have to order some more metal because i do have about eight sheets but they're only 10 foot and I changed the design when I did the solar room and made it a little bigger. So I got to order a little bit longer uh, metal. I'm going to use all of that um, right there for the future rabbit hutches area. Uh, I'm doing a whole rabbit area here soon because of Ridge Life there to bred me some rabbits. Yep. I won't be building the whole infrastructure right now, but I will be building a little something uh, to get them ready for when they come. But I plan on doing a whole rabbit area. It's going to be the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> I was going to build it in uh, Florida. Right before I left, I was about to start on it. And so I want to build what I was going to build there, here. Uh, Amber, Carl, David, if you guys ever need any help up there on Come On Mountain, please let me know. Thanks for all the great content. Oh, well, thank you very, very much. We always need help. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's always work to be done. There's always work to do here on this mountain. Auntie Ann was talking to somebody uh, uh, about, I think somebody was trying to comment, but said that they were blocked or they couldn't see the, couldn't see the comment or something. But it, guys, it, the chat just goes so fast and now, and we're out here on the phones tonight and it's, it just jumps so hard on us that, you know, sometimes we just miss the comments. Yeah, um, we got 717 what, people in the chat. What is the channel that that um can't comment? I'm looking for it. I've been I've been going back yeah. and forth on the chat trying to find it, but I couldn't find it. 
Uh, the video is only in 720. If you were watching on a TV, it might be a little blurry. Yeah, it is in 720 because that's the default for the free StreamYard. Yeah. And uh, and I typically use StreamYard for the most part. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, switching to uh, Streamlabs, I think it is, hmm. um, here soon. Where is Nightbot? Auntie Ann loves Nightbot. Uh, I have not activated and actually turned Nightbot on to the channel yet. I don't think, Tim. That's one of the we, things. We Tim set it up, but I don't think we actually activated it to go live yet. Uh, David, are you going to let Lissa cook in the kitchen? Yeah, when it gets built. If she <laughs> wants to cook, I'm not going to turn down free groceries. That's right. Uh, let's see here. Joe Cool said, for the corner post, just try and cut two sides to make a V shape. I think it might work and make it easier. Well, that's that's basically what I'm doing. Um, because I want it to kind of fold into the corner. So I'm basically going to take a round one and cut a V in the back. And then it kind of hug the corner. Right. The trick's going to be getting the V right. Right. Because it's. You know, they stack and stuff like that. Yeah. So you can't really cut a straight line all the way. Yeah, down. I'm going to uh, take a little small round to start with and just kind of play with it and kind of see what I do before I mess up a whole big chunk. Yeah. But uh, I think it'll work. I mean, in theory, it <laughs> should work. Um, that, that's kind of why <laughs> Ryder done went way over there and is climbing a tree now. I see him. Oh, there's Midnight actually on his way to go see Ryder. Yeah. Dang. KC Gal 81. Hi guys. Any snake sightings from either of you? Not yet. I haven't seen any here on Come On Mountain. Um, when Lissa and I and the kids were out and about having a drive, uh, we did run over a snake. So we did see one away from Come On Mountain, but I haven't seen one here. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? From Arizona. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we at? I'm probably how far behind am I? I'm also behind on it. I haven't. Lala, what's going on, Lala? I see the rider emoji. All the members, throw your emojis up. Emoji. Uh, let's see. Are you going to be living in the tiny house when you renovate the cabin? Yes. Yes. That is the number one reason why this tiny house is being built right now instead of later on. Because its afterlife is basically just going to be a party place. I yep. mean, it's going to be for entertaining uh, for when people are coming and camping and stuff like that, they got a bathroom facilities to use and a uh, washer and dryer and kind of all that stuff. And also to store all my solar and stuff and to protect my well. So, uh, but yes, I will be moving into it as soon as it's done. And I plan on getting a 40 foot shipping container out here and uh, storing all of my stuff in there. That'd be cool. Um, why I do the cabin renovation, and then when the cabin renovation is done, move everything back in, and then I got big plans for the shipping container. Auntie Ann said it was uh, the Kemp Family Hill. Uh, the Kemp Family Hill uh, was the channel that. Yeah, the Kemp Family definitely should be able to comment. Uh, oh, Cindy Brown I became an, a member in the Eclipse tier. She's the foreman. Cindy Brown is running things now. That's Come right. on. Uh, let's see here. Sean Clark, uh, leave details for the channel that needs monetized. It's Into the Mist is the channel that uh, we're trying to help get monetized. She needs 500 more hours. Yes. And it, man, she's a great storyteller. It's I, amazing. And it's Into, I-N-T-O-T-H-E-M-I-S-S-E-D. Yes. I know it sounds like I say mist, but it's actually mist. -d. Like missing, I would people. pronounce it the same. Missed yeah. and missed. Yeah. yeah, gotta love our great English language. All the words sound the same. Yeah. Let's see here. Hit that thumbs up button. I have no idea how many we got. I do know we got eight hundred and fourteen people in here, though. Come on. That's right. Oh, your your phone's a little faster than mine. It says eight oh six on my side. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's Kent family. Son, we are OG. Cat fur is in the house. Yay. That's right. Oh, cat fur kitten britches. Uh, I think you should start an RV park and make money. Yes, I will. But before I do that, I have to get that road addressed. 
because uh, there's only certain times you can bring an RV up here right now. Yeah, and Mike almost missed that window. Yeah, for <laughs> by sure. A day. And I was actually nervous bringing my RV up here be- because of that. But with me being my first time, you know, I was just. Oh, wait till you, uh, I know you're behind a little bit more. You're fisting, look at all the emojis from all the members. Oh, nice. Uh, everybody dropped all their emojis. That's right, Cindy. Danger noodles. Danger, yeah. Danger noodles. Nope ropes. Uh, love from Berkshire, New England, Massachusetts. Well, thank you, Joan. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we got life with Mars in the house. Oh, and up? speaking of life with Mars, that is my beautiful niece. She lives in Denver. She is about to go on a epic trip overseas for four months, guys. Wow. Where is four she? Four months. Europe. What? Nice. And she is going to be vlogging her what's happening off. That's going to be some content. Over there. So we got a bunch of exciting stuff about to happen before she goes. Man. One, she will be live with me next Monday. Okay. And we are going to have a live party with Life with Mars next Monday. Same time, same bat channel. And then towards the end of July, she is actually going to be coming to Come On Mountain for a week. And staying with her uncle David. Cool. And signing up for YouTube University. That's right. Hey, <laughs> I'll let you know now. It's a tough class, but it's fun. Yeah. And you'll learn a lot fast. You will. There's all there's all the member emojis. I'm I made it. I finally made it down there. Uh Scott W. Hi David and Mike. We question. Are you planning on finishing the cabin with the same charred finish to tie the buildings together? The upstairs. The upstairs edition will look just like this. Um, the downstairs, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the logs downstairs yet. I might sand them and char them to kind of match. I don't know yet. Um, I won't know that until I actually get into the renovation and see how much I can actually save. Speaking of, I've seen MT Homestead. Oh, you I'm rocking it. Dude. I'm rocking it, baby. I was just about to say, I haven't hollered at MT Homestead yet. I see them on here. Yeah. Hey, hey, you were on the same wing. Yep, yep, we're getting there. Also, uh, that meetup is coming next month, right? Uh, no, in May. So it's the month April. After. Yeah, not one more month. Um, I will be going there, and I'm actually going to be speaking there um, about branding. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm super excited to go to the meetup. I can't wait to meet everybody that's going to be at the meetup to be able to put a face with the names and the channels. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, there's nothing like your first meetup. It's always uh, because you don't know what to expect, right? So it's the anticipation and and all of that. There's nothing like it. And we like camping anyway, so we're not even we're not even worried about being out there camping. I want to go back for some extra camping. That lake looks (laughs) nice. And I'm thinking about bringing my boat. If my boat is in good shape and running good and all of that other stuff, I'm thinking about bringing my boat. There have been a few different channels that I've seen uh, watching Three Mississippi and MT Homestead's uh, lives that are bringing their boats. Yep. If I'm that close to a lake, uh, I mean, I'm actually going to be staying with Ridge Life and his camper there um, at Lake Ten Killer, And uh, so if he's bringing his camper, I can bring my boat, right? That's, That's right. the way I see it. I'm seeing the green hearts for the family up in here. Come out. Wow. Love the sighting, David. Thank you very much, Charlene. Uh, y'all guys are killing it out there as well. Man. It's all Grady is uh, slinging the block. Slinging the block. Uh, I'm about to put her video on repeat. Awesome. I appreciate that, sweetheart. Radio Jonesy hanging out with us tonight. What's going on? Stephen Kennedy says, sorry, I'm late. Hey, it's okay. Hey, you're here, right? Take your time getting there. But hurry up. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Boy, it's getting a little chilly out uh, here. Hey, I was kind of starting yeah. to think about He's got my jackets jacket. and stuff like this. I've been like this all day long. And uh, uh, Did, did you, did you see? Up. I don't know if you had said it already, but Lori Begin is a new will a new member welcome to eclipse foreman oh nice we've got another foreman on the scene boy look here i'm gonna have to watch my p's and q's up in here man. boy 
848 it. people hanging out with us tonight. Nice. Man, that's awesome. In the new get up, the future fired up Friday. Man. I cannot wait uh, to build what's coming here, guys. Um, I wished I was a better artist and I could like draw and kind of show y'all what's here, man. Because what I got planned for this area right here, I think is going to be epic. It is basically the dream outdoor kitchen that I've always dreamed about. I've always been big into grilling and cooking and all of that other stuff. And I've always wanted like an epic outdoor kitchen. And what I've got in my head is definitely epic, epic. And what you got going on right here is epic. Yeah. So, man. yeah. I mean, the cool thing about, the cool thing about this building is, guys, this right here is built 100% out of my head. There is no plans. There is no drawings. There was no set. I'm doing this. It's kind of evolved into what it is. Um, like I said, it started out as a 10 by 10 pump house, which is a big pump house to yeah. start with. But um, a 10 by 10 pump house, and it turned into almost a 650 square foot, you know, tiny <laughs> house. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm oh, excited about it. Uh, Freedom Redbird uh, said that, oh, man, it just jumped on me. Freedom Redbird said you should come to the Alaskan cruise in 2025, I believe he said. The Alaskan cruise. My phone just jumped. I, I had like my, my thumb holding it so I wouldn't miss the comment, and then it just jumped. That is one state that I have not been in is Alaska, and I've always wanted to go. Maybe a cruise is a good way to go see it. Right. Uh, let's see here. What is that, Slayer? Andrews, what's going on? Come on, guys. 800 people in here and not even 200 thumbs up. Do we not even have 200 thumbs up? Man, these walls should at least get 200 yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, the walls alone should get 200. Man, I would think. I, I, guess, I guess we need to step it up, I guess. I, I guess so. I, I guess we need to get that polyurethane on that thing, Man. make that thing shine. Come on. Oh, no, come on to Cape Cod. I got room. <laughs> Cape Cod. Oh, that's north uh, in the northeast. Nice. O uh, Oklahoma. The mist, oh. Did you find some pointed toe boots uh, for the wedding? Did you find your boots, Lindsay? Oklahoma Grammy Sandra Madrano said, "David, your David baked beans for the Mid America meetup, please." Got you. Got you. Those baked beans are fire. And I never make them the same twice. <laughs> <laughs> I always just try different things with it. Uh, cheers from Smithfield, Virginia. The name went by too fast. J Bear. Uh, let's see here. 503. We got 503 likes. That, that's go. better. Okay. That's better. Tim <laughs> Tim said that Ryder put his uh, special stuff on the on the sawdust today. Yeah, yeah. Ryder thinks that sawdust over there is his litter box. I was recording the Keeping It Real this morning. He started digging over there. I had to pan the camera out of the way because he went ahead and ran a douche douche <laughs> over there. Oh, Ryder. Scott Burke said, I live in the state of confusion. <laughs> Hat Creek Homestead said, ribs, man, those were the bomb. Mm. I can't afford to do ribs at the meetup mm. and feed everybody ribs. Have you seen the price of ribs? Boy, look at here. Yeah, I could throw that. Ribs are like my specialty. Ribs are uh, something I take a lot of pride in. Yeah. And I, I can make a, a mean rib, man. A mean rib. I can really grill a lot. But ribs is something that I just enjoy cooking. And, uh, man, to get a nice rack of baby backs, boy, I don't do sides or nothing. I just straight eat ribs. Um, Elizabeth uh, Betsy said, will the pokey sealer change the color at all? Uh, It'll make it pop more it'll be a lot brighter um, because anytime you seal it it's going to make all of those colors more defined and uh this side right here it's a little bit like the lighter part's a little bit darker and that's just because of all the rain we've been having we had it tarped and covered and stuff but it's still got some moisture just because we've had so much rain so much Oh, we got a birthday shout out. Uh, uh oh. Miss Susan Bernard. Hey, guys, looking for a birthday shout out. Come on from Canada. Well, happy birthday. 
Happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you came. Happy, happy birthday from the Come On Gang. Mm. We're so excited and we hope that you are too. So happy, happy birthday from the Come On Crew. Ah, come on. Come on. I like that. <laughs> hey, that, was, that. Don't yeah. tempt me with a good time. On cue, baby. Yeah. On cue. That actually came from Shoney's. Um, when I was 16 years old, I used to be a waiter there. And I was the one that led the birthday uh, thing okay. or whatever. And so basically you can change the names with just about anything and it works or whatever. But I still remember that 16 years old. Let's go back. <laughs> Woo, we ain't got time to go that far back. Boy, look at here. Lila Newton said, do ribs for the 4th of July bash. I can't afford to feed that many people <laughs> ribs either. I think it's going to be a pretty big 4th of July bash this year. I really do. I'm so stoked about the 4th of July bash. We'll see how stoked he is after we got to do all this work that we're about to have to do. I don't get care. ready for it. I'm happy to do the work, to do the cleanup afterwards, just to – I love to really hang entertain. out at a party. Yeah, yeah I love entertain. entertaining. Yeah, I told him. I said, you live on Come On Mountain, so it's co-hosted. Yeah. You know, I realize it's my mountain, but you do live here, so we're co-hosting. Co-hosting, D five. Because it's going to be a lot of work, but it, it's it's a labor of love, though. It, it's always an amazing time. Uh, Simple Life Reclaim and Country Road Cure hosted it the first two years. Uh, I am honored to be able to host it on the third year, and uh, I've always tried to help them out with whatever I could, and uh, yeah. and they'll do the same for me. So, we'll. Uh, We'll all get together, and we will make it an epic event, I assure you. But we've got to clear out that section back there um, so everybody can have a place to camp. And then we also got to get this road um, <clears throat> situated because cars yeah. ain't going to be able to make it up here, and it depends on the weather. Um, True. I'll probably be able to get it to where cars can get up here, but if the weather is bad, then uh, – a car is not going to get up here. It's going to have to be a truck. The Kemp family hill said, "Come on, homesteading. Do you have harps in uh in Ar harps in Arkansas? We hit the store on Saturdays where the meat is on sale. Still expensive though." Yes, uh, I do have a harps in uh Danville. In Danville, I, yep. I believe. And uh, yeah, harps are proud of their uh, what's happening. Um, <laughs> um, Lisa yeah. just went shopping there, and she said that it's actually pretty expensive to shop shop at the harps yeah we're gonna we're gonna try to do most of our shopping at walmart you get the big side done today dave yes i did right before this live a matter of fact yep we were just talking about how actually we could have finished up the last wall if we wouldn't have had to do the live we'd still be working right now getting it in hey david try danish oil on the wood hmm. i'll have to look into that Although I do already got four gallons of outdoor polyurethane. Yeah. Uh, Julie Howman, uh, we got a crying heart emoji, uh, two happy heart emojis, and a, a goat. A goat. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, won't go back to 16 if you paid me. Yeah. Oh, me and you both, Cindy. Boy, <laughs> look at here. When I was 16, I needed Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was uh, I was hell on wheels, to say the least. Hey, Big Wave Florida. He, you actually, that was one of the ideas he had. We were talking about the food that we yeah. were thinking about cooking, doing a whole hog. Yeah. More than likely, that's what I'm doing for 4th of July. I'm actually going to cook a whole hog. Um, I already told him that that's basically what I'm thinking. Um, I just ain't decided how I'm doing it yet. If I want to do it in the ground like I used to, or they have this uh, whole hog little box thing that you could do with charcoal, this is a little bit easier to do. And with me hosting, um, it might be the thing to do. Yep. So I don't know. But yeah, right now the front runner will definitely be a whole hog. Let's see. Yeah, there will be certain uh, a certain level of potluck. Uh, for the locals and stuff, it, a lot, some people are coming from a long ways away, so I can't right. really expect them to kind of bring food. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, real talk with SLRs in the house. Wowza, boys. Look at that backdrop. Killing it. Come on. Uh, uh, what's going on, fam? Um, do we have to share poop buckets at Come On Mountain Freedom Weekend? 
No, no. you can bring your own. No, I mean, <laughs> there's 20 acres out here. Find it. <laughs> nah, um, there will be porta potties out here. Uh, there will be porta potties delivered out here. The bathroom will actually be finished here, but I'm not going to open that up to the masses. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to do porta potties. Set up sprinklers and a slip and slide to stay cool in July from uh, Belladonna. That's, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. That'd yeah, be cool. Actually, right in front of me is the perfect place for a slip and slide because oh, it man. goes straight off. You you could slide to Mount Magazine. Man, that's <laughs> a nice over to, that's a nice drop right there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, dang, I'm terrible at making uh, it to the lies. Well, you made it this time, Chris. Come on. Auntie Ann said you'll have to start the come on shuttle service for all the cars. <laughs> yeah, that I'll probably let them uh, ride with Drifter down up here if they can't make it up here. Yeah, um, that would be a good idea. Yeah, I can I can shuttle back and forth, everybody. Yeah, I mean, you better hope that it ain't flooded. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send it. Because he'll anywhere. send it. That joker right there will send it. Actually, I've I've got Lissa's car up here and the uh, rental car up here a couple of times because the creek is still at a low point to where we can drive up. Uh, Dana, is that Dana? Dana? Did I make it in time? Yes, you did. Dana. 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 I got it. Uh, have to bring your own poop bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, there will be poop bucket services. Radio Jones, he said it's 1040 here in Tasmania. So it's, it's Tuesday in Tasmania, Australia. Mm. They're a whole day ahead of us. Wow, I feel like I'm behind now. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Ridge Life's going. Uh, Ridge Life, you okay, buddy? He's talking about he's going to share a poop bucket with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Tim. Oh, Tim, boy. David Cannon said, is Mike going to get a new truck? Yes, eventually I will get a new truck for sure. Yeah. Uh, Julie Howman said, when did you get the new Mojis? The new emojis uh, is for the memberships. Um, as members join, I can add more emojis. Um, at the time, I could do four. So we did Eclipse, we did Rider, we did Uber, and we did Come On, Come On. Yep. And uh, I believe I'm able to make another one. I'll probably make it this week. And I'm going to try to do a Heat Rises one next. Oh, okay. And uh, I got a couple other ideals, too. <laughs> which i'm seeing a lot of the emojis it's always really really cool we got 925 people in here come on we out here freezing guy my hands are <laughs> frosty i'm kind of i'm kind of huddled up in a little corner onto myself like Ugh. yeah he is all curled up I, I thought he wanted to hold hands there for a minute he keeps getting closer to me i'm like i ain't got nobody heat for you mine leaked out a long time ago he's got more clothes on than i do i got three pair of pants on i got um Two pair of sweatpants and my thermal long john bottoms. Wow. Uh, to, to people saying hi to Tim. Hey Tim. Hey guys. What's going on, Dusty? How are you? Real, real talk. SLR. So we're pitching in. You know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The fam with the fam. The fam is on it. Um, it'll be hosted here, but uh, it definitely won't be all done by here. Uh, that ain't the way we work. Uh, we come together as a family and we make happen up in here that's right that's what we do uh what's up Kay? how are you dana gale the sighting is gorgeous thank you thank you it is thank beautiful you. yeah i love i'm in love with it i, I mean whenever <laughs> i pictured it and dreamed about doing it and all of that and thought about doing a whole building that way and uh yeah it's it's turning out exactly I, honestly it's turning out better than what i thought man i lo i love it to watch that fire transform the wood is yeah. one thing, but once it goes up on the side of the building, it takes a whole new shape. It's it's amazing. No, I do not have an Audi close by. I don't really have anything close by, to be honest with you. I think the nearest Audis would have to be, like, probably if there's one in Russellville or if there's one in Fort Smith. Because I, I haven't, and I haven't seen one in Russellville. Uh, it says, keeping it Dutch did a whole hog video. That's cool. I've been cooking whole hog since I was a kid. Um, my dad used to do it. Um, we used to raise hogs and all that other stuff. And, uh, I kind of grew up around all of that. So I've cooked whole hogs forever. <clears throat> so there's, 
there's all kinds of different ways you can do it. It's just me deciding which one that I want to actually do. I think uh, <clears throat> the 4th of July of me being 18 or 19, I was living with you down in Zephyr Hills and you did a whole hog for 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah. I, we did that one in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've cooked a lot of whole animals yeah. <laughs> over the years. The Kemp Family Hill said at Come On Home Setting, we don't have meat at our Walmart. Harps is it for meat. When we want to load up on the groceries, we drive 16 miles into Hardy to visit Sabres Plus. Oh, we're at the same place because I'm right at that same spot, too. How am I doing tonight, Auntie Ann? Am, am I somewhere keeping up? We do have almost 1,000 people in here. Dang. And I am on my phone tonight, and I have a mic here. Helps out tremendously with that because we can kind of read each other while he's talking. I can kind of catch up and kind of scan through. It definitely makes it a lot easier when you're on the phones. I'm a lot faster on the on the actual computer. But you don't get a beautiful view like this Man. on the computer. <laughs> Auntie Ann said, Mike, as the shuttle service. That's funny. Yeah, it is kind of <laughs> funny. Isn't it? Well, you know, hey, we got to start the party off right, Man. right? And scare the what's happenings out of them before they even get up here. As we're crossing the creek, drifter down! <laughs> oh, that's funny. With how crazy some folks can be, do you think it's a great idea? Come on, hosting. Uh, we're all a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now, trust me, it's uh, the people that will be coming to this will be people that's vetted and and, and like minded approved. people. Yeah, yeah. It, it's approved. It's the the freedom weekend isn't necessarily open up to everybody it's opened up to uh the close knit family that's highly involved in the community yeah um the meetups and stuff we do are open up to everybody um but freedom weekend is a more intimate type thing or whatever and uh you know you just got to work your way into the family to kind of to get that invite yep and Susie she, Murphy, welcome, Eclipse Foreman. We got another Foreman. We're going to have okay. to get back to work. Man. We got to at least, after this live, we'll probably have at least an hour. We could probably get a little bit more side in of I'm just saying. I mean, don't make me break out the lights. Come on. You know, oh, oh, Eclipse and Ryder, boy, they own it right now. Matter of fact, that's where Ryder went. He went to go find an extension cord. <laughs> Auntie Ann said you're, uh, about being on the chat. She said, you've, you've done worse and you've done better. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Thank you. So, so I'm, I'm hitting in the middle. Not too bad with a phone. Uh, love, come on, mountain. Thank you, Ruby. So do I. A lot. It uh keeps you busy, to say the least. Tim said, "Do you have a double poop bucket? If if not, we will fabricate one for you, Tim. I'll poop Tim, beside you." Tim, are you needing like company? Like you want somebody to hold your hand while you're pooping, or what? I mean. Don't don't try me. You Tim. know I got two of those chairs. You can go sit out and get you a mountain view and take a friend if you if you want. We'll sit here and tell stories of the good old days. Wanda, come on with the come on, come on with the come on. Uh, let's see. Here. Um, while wow, people talking about getting rid of people with pigs, that's deep. Wow, dang, I missed those comments. Yeah, I missed all of that. Cottonwood Ranch said, so stowing away in Mike and Terry's trunk is allowed? <laughs> yep. Yep. Load them up. Uh, wish I could make it to the meetups this year, but can't. Uh, I'm sorry, Mary. Maybe you should make come on recipe book and have it published. Man, see, the problem with that <laughs> is, is I actually used to own a restaurant. And the hardest thing for me about owning a restaurant was actually putting my recipes down on paper because <laughs> I just cook random. Yeah. Um, I rarely cook the same twice. Um, I, I try new ingredients and new flavors and, and stuff. And I just, I'm good at kind of picking stuff that kind of works and blends together. So it's hard. I have done it. Like I said, when I opened up my restaurant, it took about three months to make the menu because with a restaurant, if anybody's owned a restaurant before, you know that the whole business is ran off the menu. The menu controls everything. And uh, it was, I didn't know that until I actually uh, started a restaurant. But uh, yeah, the menu dictates everything. Alana Schuster, or Schuster said, anyone going to spill beans on the guy named Todd? <laughs> Man, I've been looking for Todd. I have no idea where he's at. Uh, 
uh, let's see here. Let's see some members happening. We got Susie Murphy, which I think I already did. And then we got Robert Huffnagel. Huffnagel. Did I get that right? I'm not sure. I think that's close. $5 super chat. Thank you very, very much. And we also have Patty B. Welcome to the Rider Supervisor. Uh oh, we got another supervisor in the house. I'm telling you, we're going to end up having to go to work with all these foremans and supervisors. You know, a- another good idea, too. Uh, Casey Gal 81 said, Where's the fire pit, guys? The fire pit is oh, right up, that way. About, right there. About 30 yards yonder. Yeah, yeah. It, it's on the back side. Where we're sitting right now, we can see Mount Magazine. Yes. Yep. And uh, that will be the view of the outdoor kitchen area, which is also the same view of the fire pit area. It's amazing. Oh, looks like Rachel Hang. I, man, I am bad with names. Hang Niger. Hang Niger. Hin Niger. Hidden. Hidden. Hinger. <laughs> yes. Hinger. I, I'm sorry. I, I know I got the Rachel part right. So welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am horrible with last names. Henning, but... Henninger, I think. Hen, hen, hen... <laughs> it's a double N, so you say it, the N twice. Henninger, yeah. Henninger. Rachel Henninger, did I get that right? This old Southern boy has a hard time with pronouncing last names. First names, too, but especially last names. Uh, let's see here. We got about, what, nine minutes? We are almost at 1,000 in here. Wow, we are only four smokes. away, four from, away 1, from 1,000. That is awesome. 999 people in here now. Ooh, 999, give me 999 with a 999. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Come on with the one more. Come Radio on. Jonesy, who plays, who can play guitar on the mountain? I wish I could. I don't think any of us can. Anthony. Oh, that's right. Anthony can. Anthony can throw down, and I even think that, oh, we got 1K. Come on, throw Ooh. it out with the 1K. Come on. Salute. Oh, uh, yeah, we need toast to that. Cheers to the 1K. Cheers, guys. Um, yes, Anthony can throw down, and I do believe that uh, I think Tim can do a little picking too, if I'm not mistaken. You know what, Tim? Tim would be able to play the thing on guitar. Yeah, that Joker, he's amazing. Yeah, Tim, Tim, he's all right. Everybody uh, throwing the come on with the come on emojis. I like that. Smash that. Show some love. Uh, Mike at three Mississippi. Yes, Mike can actually throw down too and sing. And Frankie has a voice like an angel, his daughter. Oh, okay. Uh, they did a, when I was there last, uh, they actually did like a little performance and stuff on Tim's lab. <laughs> and it was a really, really good time. Oh, uh, Mick, Kevin, Mike, make sure you go to the post office. There's a birthday gift for Talon, but I'm sure he will share. We actually, okay. Well, thank you very much. Now, uh, now we know a name uh, the, for the gift. He actually opened that last night, and he has already shared. Thank you so much. Not for that. with me. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I told well, you about that? that. I know you told me, but I ain't Ooh, getting it. Man, that was that. That was the biggest bag ever. You guys will see that. Um, we do all of our mail calls on camera so that everybody can see the reaction that everyone has. Wait till you see the reaction to Talon's first birthday gift of the year. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Tim, Tim seems like a banjo player. <laughs> man, I, that is the one instrument I would love to learn how to play, but they say it is hard. But, man, there ain't nothing cooler than sitting there just picking on a banjo, man. But just that sound. I love it. Uh, like button people, I am bringing a PA system. <laughs> yes. Nice. Uh, let's see here. More of the hit the lights. Congrats on a thousand. Thank you. Oh, we got six minutes. Six Ooh. minutes. Y'all got any questions in the last six minutes? Scott Burke said, I can sing and play guitar. I, I have a band. Come on. Awesome. It says that I can see uh, Tim playing the harp. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that too. Old fancy. <laughs> I hope he plays it better and he runs a tractor. <laughs> Thomas Bowen said, I own a DJ slash karaoke ser- business, and if I got around better, I would offer my service. That'd be cool. Appreciate oh, it, though. Oh, Todd, the unseen man. Yeah. Yeah, we're still looking for Todd. No, we still ain't found Todd. <laughs> Real talk with SLR said, how about a mouth harp? I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would be a kick. 
Oh, uh, okay. Tambourine girl. <laughs> and spoons. And spoons. Get the spoons out <laughs> Cindy Brown, got to feed the hubs. Have a good night. Yep, got to feed them groceries. Uh, I play the heart because I'm an angel. Tim, <laughs> <laughs> now we know that ain't true. 710 thumbs up. Oh, nice. Nice. Quite a few. Quite a few we're getting there. Uh, Lean Sester from above said, I can see Mike playing the harmonica underwater, man down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you said something about underwater. That made me think of Paul. Actually, Paul's not here tonight. Hope yeah, I have not seen Paul. I hope, hope everything's okay with Paul. I hope he's I hope he's just hanging out and got something to do. Uh, thanks for setting up this live, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe Todd's maybe the, one he's who, the one that set all of this up, you know, set the stage up and all of that. He was bringing the chairs over. I hey, appreciate you, Todd. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, if Todd was here on this mountain, I guarantee you my supervisor and foreman would run his butt off. Man. Oh, oh Todd. Well, I'll tell you what, I hope Todd's in there cooking. <laughs> That's what I want Todd to be doing right now. Hat Creek Homestead said it. If you are, if you're at the creek and hear banjos, paddle faster. <laughs> yeah. And he said, I can play the spoons. Yeah. That's, uh, was that deliverance or something? Where they're at the creek and yeah, you better go. Uh, did y'all see what Carolyn said? She is Todd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Todd's girlfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, man, that is hilarious. We're going to find Todd one day. Uh, Lean Sister from above said, Mike, you looked absolutely devastated watching your truck leave. I felt for you. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the nicest truck he's ever had, man. And, he, and he just threw it away in Arkansas as soon as he got it. I don't want it no more. Take it away. Huh. I was. I was heartbroken, man. Cleaning. Yeah. That's probably why I put off cleaning it out so long. I didn't. It's like I knew once I cleaned it out, it was really gone, and it's really gone. Joseph said, keep on keeping it real always, 100. Uh, we always going to keep it real on this mountain, buddy. You better believe always. it. Always. I know no other way. Tiger Care said, I have a harmonica, but I don't know how to play it. I'm sure you could watch some YouTube videos, and they'll get you right. <laughs> oh, Real talk with SLR says, since you're the milkman, you need to step it up and put Todd's picture on a milk cart. <laughs> <laughs> put like a black Ooh. silhouette. <laughs> well, that right there is show, showing our ages right there that we know that. Well, yep. that was way back in the day when you ended up on a milk carton. Where's Waldo? Come on. Actually, Lindsay, if you're still in here, can you do a video on Todd? Because he is missing. Man. You guys check out Into the Mist new video Finding Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself a jacked up pickup for the flooding. Yeah. I had one. I had one in Texas and I actually traded it in because I was in Dallas and everything's not bigger in Texas like they say. Um, their parking spots are not. <laughs> and uh, my truck didn't fit anywhere. And uh, I really wish I still had it. But at the same time, with diesel prices right now, Kind of glad I don't. Junk to Gems 3. Uh, my buddy Gary from Florida said, new truck is coming soon, Mike. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put a rush on that. But, yes, it, <laughs> it, it, it is eventually coming soon. Who knows? Maybe maybe by my birthday. I mean, that's it's you know going to be several thousand dollars down, back and forth, whatever, whatever. So I wouldn't count on getting a new one very soon. But it is coming. At the end, said Mike, don't get the milk carton joke. He's too young. <laughs> I did get the milk carton joke, actually. Thank you, Miss Auntie Ann. Oh. Now I I will admit that I never actually seen a person on milk carton, but I did get the joke. <laughs> All right, guys, we're down to the last minute. We're gonna get off here in a second. Everybody, go over to Robinson Belly Acres and give them some love and tell them that come on sent you, and go over there and find out. If that is where Todd is, Ram Ram. Todd might be at Robinson Belly Acres. He, oh, to catch Todd, find him next on Robinson <laughs> Belly Acres. Come on. All right, guys, this was an absolute blast. We still have right at a thousand people in here, only three away, Man. it looks like, here at the end. We are going to do it again next week, same time, same bat channel, baby.
So until we see each other again, guys, come on and let's go on another adventure.